Well, what I'm doing here <clears throat> is I'm trying to make a little bracket, a little piece of angle iron there where I can mount the, the choke uh, cable <clears throat> to the frame or the body there somewhere. And then I'm going to rig up, the, <clears throat> as we'll see in a little bit later, a uh, solenoid like a uh, window, uh, what do you call it? Uh, no, not window, uh, door lock actuator. They're universal size, so they, uh, um, I guess they'll fit anything pretty much. They're not really made for any particular car. But I'm having a little bit of a problem here getting this thing just exactly the way I want it. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of preparation to it, so if I don't uh, talk a lot on this one, that's because I'm doing this voiceover thing and trying to prevent a lot of that huffing and puffing that I have to do. I mean, it's not something I want to do, it's just because it's the way it is. But anyway, that's going to be the little screws we put in there. I had to keep moving out the holes to get them to work. I didn't have the exact size drill bit. Uh, kind of unhandy when they got all these here 730 seconds and what are 39, 64s, all that stuff. Well, we just keep it a, sim a few simple drills and that'd be good. But no, we've got to have all these complications involved here. So uh, <clears throat> that's uh, just a little piece of angler I call it. It's not even straight by your life for it to be. But I guess it'll have to do in a pinch. And here in a little bit, we'll get on with the uh, little bit more. This is kind of boring in one respect of the way because. Not a lot going on, can't see much either, but anyway, I got my, uh, all my copper straightened up that I had uh, on hands. Uh, I love that little stripping machine, I say, whatever, it's like a top, you can make some awfully small, well, I cut some awfully small wire with that if you just do it right. So now we're going to go over here and <clears throat> see if I can figure out how this is going to be mounted over here. Uh, we have plenty of room, really, but I think, really... As you're looking at it, I probably should move that CDI module over a little bit to get more room because I don't like, I don't want to crowd things up just too much. Especially when you do have room, you know. And that's the uh, choke cable there. I'm trying to figure out where would be a good place to mount that because you've got to have your, enough room for your actuator. And uh, <clears throat> if I could put it over there on the, <clears throat> mercy, on the left side of that, like that there, but this doesn't give you a whole lot of room. You know, much room for adjustment. So we'll see how that pans out. It's um, probably going to work all right, I think, because that's what I got on my golf cart. I got the same setup on it. On this time, I'm going to use a momentary switch, so it just only closes while you get the button down. The other one, just, it, it'll hold it down until you turn it back off again. I don't really like that too much, but anyway, we'll see how we, how we go here. Let's see, this thing is going to set the mounts up to something like that. If I have it, if I don't move it, I think I'm going to move that module though because I don't like it jammed it too close. This project here has been a lot of trial and error. Put it together and take it apart and all that. So you can, I mean, it's like a brand new ordeal to me. And so, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll try to see how it's going to fit. Um, I probably should play a little background music when I really have anything to say, but when I'm just doing what we're doing here, you can't really say a lot. But uh, those little actuators are pretty cheap. I don't remember what they were. They, they came in a two pack. <clears throat> and uh, well, I guess you could buy them one, but two is about a cheaper one. So that's why I did that. I might look to probably burn them out anyway. But uh, now we get through fumbling around here, we're on something different. Uh, yeah, I think maybe we should move that thing. But anyway, I'm going to work on a little, another deal here just shortly. A uh, way to connect the uh, actuator up to the choke cable. I think it's going to work out pretty good. They give you quite a bit of hardware with that little actuator, and I think we'll be able to make it work pretty good. Once I get through fumbling around here trying to figure stuff out, let me go over and take a look at it. That little thing will mount on there, let me show, okay, we'll go through that. And we got to figure out how to make it solid so, so I don't, well I, well, I guess as long as you pull forward, it's all right. Well, it should be fine. But I don't want the cable slipping out of that little hole there. And there's the, what I got rigged up. I, I came with it, that little piece there. 
clamped onto the cable end of that uh, yoke. That pulls like that. And then they give us a little, little rod thing, a little bar. Yeah, that's the word goes with it. Comes out of the motor. Then they get a little bar that hooks in there so you can adjust it however long it needs to be. And uh, I've already cut that one off short, I think. I wish I probably have to cut it more. But that thing there will hook into uh, that piece I have on the on the choke cable itself. And uh, I think it's going to work out pretty good once I get it mounted. And I did get a new uh, fuel pump. i got to put that on. But it's a little nippy out there. It's only 30-something degrees outside. And I had a little heater on. Um, <clears throat> and uh, that does work pretty good. Now, those little things, they work pretty spiffy in a way. Like, they give you enough stuff to hook it up with. A lot of different ways, and uh, that little thing here came with it, did that all them screws they took. So, we'll get it going here for two months, I hope. And, uh, and uh, while we're at it there, I was mentioning a while ago, something about my heater. Well, uh, this, this piece here was what was causing the problem. I thought at first it may not have been, but that uh, $87 later, now my heater works again, so that's what that was. All right, well, that's enough right now. All right, if I can get my hands out of the way and see kind of what I've got going on, I've been trying to explain a little uh, door lock actuator and uh, finally got it rigged in there. It's not a very close up picture, but I did leave, I didn't move the, um, what do you call it there, CDI, and that's what it's supposed to do, just pull that back. It doesn't pull it very far because it's not much throw on it, a little choke, I guess, but. I think that's going to be all right the way that is. I still got to put my field pump back on. All right, that's